I am Sandra Perez Ramos and I am a visual artist. So I started creating art when I was very little. Uh, my parents enrolled me in drawing and art classes. Um, and one of the teachers, one of the classes, she taught me a lot of technique. And years later in another class, I learned how to really see things with the other teacher. Also my mother and my grandmother and my aunt, they were always having, uh, making art and creating something, uh, arts and crafts or, or experimenting with materials. And so I, I was always surrounded by that when I was little. It's interesting because my grandmother could not stop. Uh, she was always either doing clay pottery or painting or capodimonte or decoupage back in the 80s that was trending um, or sewing. Um, and so she was always on her sewing machine and I was playing, I remember as a little kid, uh, with fabric scraps that she, that she was discarding. And I was loving all the patterns and the textures and I started keeping them and asking her, can I keep that, can I keep that? And she's like, oh, sure. So I had a little box full of uh, fabric scraps and I ended up making bows and selling them. And I don't know, I collected, I collected so many things because my, my father too, they all taught me if you're, if you're, you know, learn to see and whatever you're interested in, just take it, observe it, explore it. Also on the, on my maternal side of the family, they are very of mixed spiritual beliefs. So I grew up with, uh, I don't know, a lot of uh, interest in syncretism also because that happens a lot in the Caribbean because we have a mixed heritage. So, so we have uh, influence from, from indigenous, from our indigenous side, from the, from the Spaniard or the European, from the African heritage that we have. And so all of it mixes. So in my family, my grandmother was Rosicrucian which they are also, uh, it's a mix of uh, Christianism and astrology. I grew up with magical thinking too. And so that's something that I think has influenced my, my themes and the curiosity that I have to, to see, uh, to find elements like those in different cultures and, and to make it, you know, into one. Uh, you know, finding similarities between cultures is, is one of my themes, but also magical thinking, love spells, superstition, folklore. Be curious about everything and be open to learning all of those things, even if they clash later with what you believe, but you were open to seeing what it is about and to reading about it. There are people who cancel things out, but no, I think it doesn't mean you're gonna integrate it into your philosophy, but be open to, to understanding other perspectives, you know, spiritual, political, whatever. Be open to, to understanding what it is they are. Why do they believe it? Why do they do it? It's interesting. And I think it adds to you as a person. We think, oh, I am so creative, I can draw. That's not it. You need, there's so much more to, to being an artist, you have to be receptive to a lot of things that are not too obvious, but also you have to be curious. You know, curiosity is essential. Um, if you don't have curiosity, nothing's gonna happen. You know, nothing's gonna happen. You're just gonna repeat or copy. I think the topic of connectivity, connectivity, interconnection, I like that. Um, because I'm always researching or, or trying to, to learn about other cultures, trying to find things that are in common, focusing on the, we're different, let's respect our differences, but there's so much we have in common. So yeah, connectivity, I would say, um, is, is an underlying unifying element throughout my work. It's all magical. I think that's something that happens a lot. I don't like to generalize Latin cultures, because I keep saying we're not one culture, we're many cultures, we're very different, our heritage is different, our dialects are different, our customs are different, but we do have that, the magical realism or the, or the magical thinking element. And so some of the, my work, or, or a lot of it, wants to 
bring that out. I want to focus a little on that fantasy or that side in which we are allowed to really be free and imagine and, and wish and, and want and, and to channel it. And then the other artwork, the folkloric, the Gigante, which is a Puerto Rican character, which it is said that it is uh, based on the masks and the celebration of the Santiago Apostol uh, Festival in Spain, which was to push out uh, to scare the Moors away. Um, but ironically, in Puerto Rico, the, the town that's more Afrocentric, one of the, our more Afrocentric um, towns, is the one that makes this amazing, gorgeous, beautiful, uh, coconut-based, the Gigante mask. My approach is more contemporary. I, you know, I try to give it my touch and I mix, you know, Adinkra symbols or uh, Chinese dragon elements or, um, I don't know, Aboriginal or even Taino uh, petroglyphs. And I try to mix it all. So I create something completely new, inspired in something that's uh, folkloric. An exhibition like Estamos Aquí, uh, in which I had the honor, the pleasure, I'm super grateful to have been juried into it, uh, here in Black Rock Center for the Arts, is essentially important because I, I personally, I think it allowed contemporary artists from very different countries in Latin America to, to bring very different perspectives. And I think it was intelligently curated and it allowed us a platform to, to, to connect with the community because Germantown is this diverse and there's so much multiculturalism. Groups need to be, uh, to feel acknowledged and, and represented and heard. So I think it's beautiful when, when a space like this and its programming uh, is dedicated to, to inviting voices, inviting artists to talk to represent and to, and to connect with the community that is outside. Um, I think it adds to the well-being of a community, you know, to feel heard, acknowledged, and represented. I feel it is wonderful to be able to have the opportunity. I am very grateful, and I hope that it repeats uh, and that, you know, that spaces like Black Rock, Black Rock Center for the Arts with their programming, they are in tune with, with what the community around it needs and who are the people living around them. So they serve. I mean, they teach, they educate through arts and cultures, through art and culture. So by allowing, by creating a platform for us artists, um, not, not these dated notions of cultures, but new, new voices, contempor a contemporary approach to art and culture, uh, I think it will, it will, it's, it's great for the community.